I got here at 10 o'clock and we're not getting on until like 3.15. It's really um, become a great issue this year. After months of cancellations, delays and staffing issues, a major shakeup at BC Ferries. Mark Collins, CEO and president of the company since 2017, has been fired. Whenever there are problems with a company that delivers major and important services and things don't go well, somebody pays the price. In a statement, BC Ferries acknowledges it has been dealing with issues in part because of COVID, adding while there are no quick fixes, the board believes it is time for renewal, fresh ideas and a renewed commitment to higher standards. VP and Chief Financial Officer Jill Charland will serve as interim president and CEO. Leonard Krogh is the mayor of Nanaimo, which has three ferry terminals. Firing the CA in the short term, the CEO is not going to fix the problems with staffing shortages. It's not going to replace overnight the aging vessels that are often the cause of some of the problems. It's not going to fix aging equipment. Uh, but it will hopefully give some confidence to folks that things will get better. And passengers waiting to board a ferry out of Tawasin aren't so sure a change in leadership will make change on the water. They need more ferries put in place, whatever, hire more people, pay them more money, whatever. When it gets busy like this and if they have a lot of um, reservations, you know, maybe they should have extra sailings if they want to fill it up with people that are paying the extra money to go on and leaving us sitting here like this right. in the heat. Salt Spring Island among the communities bearing the consequences. Last weekend, several cancellations stranded people on the island overnight with more cancelled sailings this weekend. Any island residents that um, work off island, uh, they're impacted. They can go to work or they got cut work early or they've got to find accommodation uh, off island because the, the, the ferry cancellations. Um, island residents who have doctor's appointments scheduled, um, there's uncertainty now. Um, can, they, can they go to those appointments? Here on Vancouver Island, uh, where tourism is a, an important part of our economy, where we've seen uh, very low occupancy rates for resorts and hotels and, and people who deliver uh, services, who do guiding, who take you out fishing and whale watching, it's really important for us to have a reliable ferry service. The now former CEO made more than $500,000 last year and will be getting a severance package. While it's not yet clear how much it's going to be, could be hefty. I hope to, to see a change uh, from this. Um, I, I truly do hope that there is a change to come. In Delta, Monica Gould, City News.